So, I don't really know what this is. The only reason I do anything is because I think it's fun. So, whether or not this becomes a series is entirely hinged on how fun I find the process. So, yeah. I don't know how to do intros. Here's why I had Ken and Parrot out from Steven Universe as autistic. Hmm. Bold. Let's follow this logic! Peridot is a little green alien from the planet Homeworld. She originally entered the series with orders to destroy Earth. Although she spent a long time fighting the Crystal Gems, she eventually changed her mind and turned against her leader, Yellow Diamond, in order to protect the Earth with her new friends. Post-Redemption arc, she functions as the group's tech guy, comedic relief, and living anime reference. Peridot's favorite thing to do is watch Camp Pining Hearts. She's incredibly passionate about it to the point that she hyper-focused on it for 78 hours straight, picking apart every morsel of content she could find, and then dumped all that info back on Steven, who very clearly did not care to hear it. And that was only from one episode. In Steven Universe Future, when Camp Pining Hearts gets a trash reboot, she becomes incredibly distressed and takes it upon herself to write and storyboard a new correct version of it. Also notable is that after trying and failing to explain to Peridot why she fuses all the time, Garnet was able to finally get through to her by comparing herself to a relationship in Camp Hunting Hearts. Since it's something she understands and loves deeply, that analogy made far more sense to her than what Garnet had been trying to say up to that point. So while I agree Peridot's primary special interest is Camp Pining Hearts, I see technology as her secondary. It's something she knows a lot about and can get pretty excited over, even if the people around her don't seem to share the same energy. Oh my goodness! This looks like it could be brand new! I mean, it's a relic by today's standards, but golly, it's so elegant, so simple, so perfect! Which, like, she's a Peridot, so it might just be because she's genetically programmed to like it, but... Eh. Going back to Garnet's explanation, Peridot often has trouble understanding other people. Her mind is very literal and logical, so if something doesn't make sense to her personally, she'll probably get frustrated with it and dismiss it. This is your whole problem! Your emotions rule out reason! This can lead to accidental insensitivity. When she hurts Amethyst's feelings with her mean jokes, she was confused as to why it was suddenly wrong when the behavior was being rewarded before. On a side note, I still really dislike Amethyst in this episode for laughing at her friends' insecurities and then not being able to take it herself. I don't understand why she deserved an apology from Peridot when she was the one encouraging it in the first place. Honestly, when Peridot was affiliated with Homeworld, I don't think she even knew she was doing anything wrong. To her, the diamonds were the pinnacle of reason, so Yellow Diamond acting irrationally was what made her realize Homeworld's moral code was completely off. Peridot has a hard time with social cues. She doesn't pick up on people's feelings unless they're being direct, she doesn't get hints, and she's very honest about her thoughts when she probably shouldn't be. Also, I don't know if this is a social thing, since I've had a hard time figuring out exactly why this is such a common autistic trait, but she tends to talk very loudly, regardless of the situation. I do not have to grow! This height is indicative of my rarity and importance! I demand entry, you Claude! Peridot relies heavily on technology to navigate the world. Not only does it help her access answers to things she's confused about, she can also use it to express her feelings and communicate with others. Sometimes she has trouble articulating her emotions, whether that's from being overwhelmed by them or just needing time to fully think them through before speaking. When she gave Amethyst that undeserved apology, she became overwhelmed and switched from speaking directly to playing a message she recorded in private. Despite all the talking she does, Peridot doesn't always use language in an expected way. She can frequently be seen using her own words for things. Peridot. These touch stumps. This? Gravity connectors. This? That's your butt! <laughs> <laughs> there was this period of time in the show where Peridot was seemingly attempting a lot of social masking. Steven tells her that when you receive a gift, you should say, Wow, thanks. And even though she's seemingly unappreciative of it, she complies with his rules. She also takes this very literally because from then on, every time she gets a present, she replies in those exact words. 
Wow, thanks. Oh, wow, thanks. Wow, thanks. Later on, she reads from a joke book and laughs at the punchline despite not understanding it because she understands what that's what you're meant to do. Later still, Pearl makes her own joke, and I'm not gonna lie, I can't tell if Parada is fake laughing because she didn't get it or if she's imitating Pearl's laugh, but like, does it matter? Autistic ass. There seems to be some debate on whether or not Peridot is canonically autistic. According to Rebecca Sugar, she doesn't consider any of the gems to be neurotypical. That is to say, most gems don't think, perceive, or behave in ways considered to be normal by the general population. So, sort of. <laughs> to clarify, someone not being neurotypical doesn't necessarily mean they're autistic. I feel like if you didn't set out with the specific intention of making an autistic character, it kind of just falls into the if-you-want territory of canon. Then again, if they fit the definition, does that make them autistic, whether it was intentional or not? But these things can be subjective, so is it actually even fair to decide someone else's work must mean what I want it to mean? Uh, okay, here's a different question. Do I want Peridot to be canonically autistic? The problem with a lot of autistic headcanons is that if they were actually real, that would make the media they come from kind of messed up. A lot of autistic traits tend to get made fun of on TV, but not in a, oh, you're so goofy, but we love ya way. More of a, wow, what a socially incompetent fool. Glad I'm not that guy way. Like, remember how Amethyst tried to throw Peridot's tablet into the ocean? something she used for comfort and communication and because she was emotionally overwhelmed. Yeah, she was using it as a replacement for self-worth and having it in danger helped her unlock her metal powers, but if it were under the context of her being autistic, I don't know, feels iffy. But hey, I'm not gonna come for the Crewniverse for accidentally writing something minorly problematic in an alternate universe where my specific interpretation of the show is correct. What do I look like, a Steven Universe fan? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, Peridot. 